<laughs> you know that? I forget the law. 30, is it 35? 35. I don't think it's changed. 35. <laughs> yeah, 35. Oh, man. 35. President of the United States, Danny Ray I know. Sparks. It's like, how do I top this next year? It's like, what can I do? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> what happens, though, is that, I got to tell you, you become an old you become an old hat really yeah. quick. You got to watch out, Danny, because remember, gay years. Yeah. 30 years old, you're all washed up. When you're oh, man. 40 like me, 41 like me, you're done. You're done. I know. You're so right. You're done. Well, you don't want to burn up those years too quick. <laughs> I'm already losing my youth card. Like, I've been doing <laughs> activism so long that it's like when you're really young, uh, you know, politicians and people that are like, you know, making decisions like really like when a 15 year old's talking to them. And the more, as I get older, it's like, oh, you're 18 now. It's like they're getting less, in, probably less inclined <laughs> to hear what I have to say. But um, That's yeah, you got to capitalize on that. Those like couple years where you're like cute and innocent, and then now I'm probably not gonna be. Oh, uh, Danny, you're still cute and innocent. And and uh, you know what I said though? The other day we were talking about you, and I said he is gonna look young forever. It's like you you're just gonna have one of those faces at 30 years old, and people are like, oh, he's so young. <laughs> Seriously, oh, and, and your stature too. Yeah, I know. I went. I just went to the doctor, and she was like, you're in the uh, third percentile for your height. Yeah. So I'm like one of the shortest people my age, probably. Right. <laughs> she and I could be your mom and dad. Right. <laughs> we could. Yeah, I know. Totally it's so scary. <laughs> um, and that could be your grandpa. All right. Yeah. It's a big family right now. Family affair. Family affair. <laughs> so I know that I see, um, you know, I know that your time is going to be on the stage in about five minutes or so. Yeah. And we're going to have to get you over there soon. But I just, um, and you can come back later or something. Yeah. But um, I just wanted to ask you, um, you know, with all the things that are happening, yeah. gay marriage in New York was now, uh -huh. you know, yeah. it, it is, everyone's very happy about this. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, you came up in a time where equality was in yeah. pockets around this country. Right. So that happening and now you seeing, you know, the evolution of that. Yeah. What does that mean to you? And, and what do you think? Does that inspire you that you can do a hell of a lot more? Yeah. Or, you know, especially in a state like Ohio where yeah. we have the DOMA law, but <laughs> in New York, hey. Yeah, I mean... I think it's um, inspiring to, if on many levels, um, you know, I think that the fact that young people, um, you know, if you consider what happened in Parma, it's like a group of six young people were able to make such a large impression on adults that never wanted to hear young people before. Um, we were the first group to ever do that. Um, I think it just lends some, you know, credence to the fact that young people have a voice and right. that, you know, we really are going to be the future of what happens uh, culturally and politically in Ohio. Right. So it's like, you know, really from this day forward, it's like, what are young people going to be doing to make Ohio, you know, because Ohio is a bad place to live right now if you're LGBT. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like we're we're not really talking about marriage so much as, you know, don't get fired from your job. Mm -hmm. So it's like we have a lot of hurdles that we have to cross before we can make Ohio, you know, even remotely close to New York. But I think it's possible, you know, if you have all of the young people and all of the, you know, everyone, anyone that's in invested in this issue together. Right. Um, you're going to go, you're going to go to college. Yeah. Starting in the fall. Uh -huh. And where, where is your college of choice? Um, I'll where be going? going to Ohio State um, with my tentative wow. majors um, in, like, political science and journalism. Right. So um, I don't know if I like, uh, you know, radio as much, but yeah. I kind of like print. Okay, <laughs> but I, I have a con I have a contact in the media much better than I am, and oh, that we might be able to get you an internship somewhere. Yeah, so I, know. I have to like ration out my yeah. internships though. But um, I think that's very right. exciting though. Um, of course you're gonna get pulled in about a second because yeah. uh, I'm I'm going quiet just because he, I'm getting the eyes. Danny Ray Sparks is going yes. to the big stage right now to give his speech. Save me! Yay! Right, and Todd's Danny. taking him away. Judith Pindell is out there. Thank you. Danny, Danny yes. great job. Congratulations. Thank you, we'll, everybody. We'll talk to you later. All right. We'll see you on Wednesday. All right.